Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be discussing about Amazon Simple Notification Service that is SNS. So let's get into the video. Another application service that we are going to talk about today is SNS. Now this is very important to understand. Individually, SNS that is Simple Notification Service has got no importance. But when it is integrated with the other services of Amazon, it is highly important service. What it basically does is SNS again is a managed service of AWS. It is used to deliver the messages in a push manner. So you have some endpoints which are available to you. You received a message in your inbox. You will push this message to these subscribed endpoints. This is what your SNS service is simple notification service. So it will push the messages to the subscribed endpoints and those subscribed endpoints could be a email address. It could be a Lambda function. It could be a HTTP request sent to somebody. It could be anything. So it is a very useful service by Amazon in Amazon with S SNS that is simple notification service. You basically create a topic. Now what the topic is topic is nothing but the list of endpoints to which you want to send the messages or subscribe the messages. Now some people must be thinking the same thing was there in SES also the same thing is there in the SNS also. What is the difference between them? See as I have told you in the last slide also SES is a service by Amazon which offers you SMTP functionality that is you can send the email by using the compute service of Amazon. You will be paying to Amazon only for the number of emails that you are sending and receiving. But you cannot actually, you know, publish a message from SES. You need a different client for that to publish the message. So this SNS service basically publishes the message to the subscribed endpoints. So it is a method or you can say it, it is a server that you get from Amazon to execute this functionality and this offers you the list of the topics to whom so you can maintain multiple topics and can publish the messages to them. So what you can do is just like the SES you first need to subscribe the endpoints to the topic and once the endpoints or you can say the users got subscribed to your service you will be able to send or you can say publish the messages to them who can send the message to the subscribed user based on the policy that you create for your topic. You will be able to decide who can send message to the subscribed endpoints either it is the topic owner or public that is star or whomsoever you want to allow it depends upon the policy that you will be attaching with your SNS topic that you will be creating. So what you do is step number one you create the topic. Step number two you add the endpoints into it and step number three you can publish the messages and it works on the push technology. As soon as you publish a message it will be pushed to all the subscribed endpoints that you are having. This is what your SNS is simple email service by Amazon in this it is basically only for your outgoing alerts. So what you can basically do is in SNS you can subscribe a lambda function. So if something happens there will be an alert which will be given to the lambda function and lambda function will execute X Y Z task. So it is actually what it is a code which is ideally sitting somewhere. It's idle code which is sitting somewhere in some storage repository. As soon as there is a trigger happening, this will be provoked to get executed. And once it is executed, it will give some result to me and it will sleep again. And I will be only paying for the milliseconds 
till the time when my lambda function were get, was getting executed but when to provoke this function can be achieved by this sns so i can send a notification to lambda to get provoked to get executed so th then sns can be used with that there are multiple ways in which the sns can be used we have seen a use of sns in cloudwatch also so there was an alarm that we created in cloudwatch that if the cpu utilization goes beyond 40% i should get a email alert and the email alert was sent to the subscribed user and that subscribed user was nothing but the sns topic inside which the subscribed endpoints were listed right in this way the sns service can be integrated with the cloudwatch also so there are lot of uses of sns service i can use the sns service for my service of sqs the next service that we will be studying so i will revisit this particular topic when i'll come to the sqs again so individually the sns has nothing to do with it will just maintain the list of subscribed endpoints but when it is integrated with other services of amazon it starts making sense so you can publish a message to the topic and the topic is what a topic is nothing but a list of subscribed endpoints so whatever message you push to the topic will be delivered to the all subscribed users this is how the sns works you can send the benefits that we get from the sns is you can send the message to individual person and you can even broadcast the messages you can push the messages for instant delivery integration as i have told you it has got multiple transport protocols to which it supports i will show you uh, when we are on the practical screen multiple transport protocols are used and again pay as you go model when you are not sending any notification you don't need to pay anything so nothing setup charges or nothing default charges only when you use it you pay for it pay as you go service by amazon sns sns it is a serverless environment for sending the messages to various services of amazon it is a serverless environment you don't have to manage any server to do all these things another application service by amazon that is sns simple notification service you can send messages in the form of sms email json email http request it can send a message to sqs it can send a message to amazon firehose it can send a message to lambda function also it can push the messages it will push the notification to the subscribed endpoints whichever endpoint it is so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed upon any concept or if you want to dive deeper into the concepts then we have something really special for you we have our free class on amazon aws solution architect certification for beginners under this free class you'll be learning about why and who should learn aws cloud services deployment models and aws services as well and the most important part is you'll be getting hands-on labs job opportunities along with docker and kubernetes in aws and amazing amazing stuff so if you want to register for this free class all you have to do is just log on to your browser and type k21academy.com forward slash aws sa02 and after that you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to click on book your free seat now select your event date add your name your email address your phone number and click on yes save my seat and after that you'll be seeing this kind of page you just have to save this link on the extreme right add it to your calendars and i'll see you in the free class till then keep learning